This week looks like quite an active, quite a busy week with quite a lot going on. There's so many different influences for different rows. So if you're keen to find out, keep watching. Hi and welcome and welcome back to the people who follow me here every week and watch these readings and welcome to all the new people who haven't been here before. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. <laughs> I hope you've had some time to relax and just enjoy it. Um, it's certainly been beautiful and lovely here weather-wise. It's just been stunning, very summery. So I've been really enjoying it. But Anyway, the world's still in a bit of a strange place, but at least here in New Zealand, things seem to be fairly calm at the moment, which is nice. So, yeah, if you haven't already, please pick row one, two, or three, and I will read each row for you with the cards. I have the cards in front of me. I just shuffled them and laid them out randomly to see what would come up. So, anyway, for row ones, we start the week... With the king of pentacles king of pentacles is about material things it's about saying that you're doing well hang on just checking that the microphone is on <laughs> i'd hate to do all this and not record the sound that wouldn't be very good so it's all about material the material world and doing well and it's kind of reassuring you that financially you're heading in a good direction you've got what it takes to do well with that you might even get a little bit of a bonus or something nice happen financially or a gift it can be a gift it's not always money it can be you know material things that are going well for you somebody might give you something really nice or you might buy yourself something really nice you've been wanting to have so but it can also indicate creating the space around you your home you might be doing something with that um it's a good time to do it so financially and on the material aspects of life monday and tuesday are really solid with your career it's a good time to make a move if you've got some other plans or new ideas or want to raise or a new job Monday and Tuesday are perfect for that. So Wednesday and Thursday we've got the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is about caring, loving, nurturing. It's quite different to the beginning of the week. It's a time of just feeling connected and caring about the people around you and you're also feeling safe and happy within yourself in your environment so it might be a woman around you who who's a very caring person very warm-hearted open-hearted person that you may spend some time with midweek you know it's just somebody really nice really just real and open-hearted and so forth so yeah you probably have a chance to spend your time with somebody like that or spend some time with somebody like that it's also indicating that you're embodying those qualities it's a calm quiet solid strength you're feeling good midweek you're feeling really confident but not in a hyperactive out there kind of way but in a quiet of I'm okay where I'm at so very very lovely midweek for row ones by the weekend we've got the six of pentacles which is all about sharing and caring too. You might be able to help somebody or somebody may help you. It's all about helping, caring, sharing, giving each other support. You've got some good people around you. If you need some help or something, ask. You've got people around you who'd like to help. Or you may feel like you can help somebody else and that could be moral support, emotional. It could be more practical, like giving them a hand to do something and yeah so you've got an awesome weekend of, of just really nice vibes around you nice people around you working with others on something completing something doing something that's meaningful to you so fantastic weekend for sharing caring loving helping supporting each other so yeah you may be in a good position to support somebody who may need some moral support too um you know it's a nice thing to do if somebody's needing some feedback or just somebody to be there for them you're going to have the opportunity to do that over the weekend so 
yeah so row ones look look really really good quite a varied week you know from very material to very loving to sharing to helping <laughs> it's it's a nice flow so yeah it looks like you're going to have a really great week um for row twos we start the week with the ace of wands ace of wands is basically um indicating it's time for adventure <laughs> think outside the box go out there do something you haven't done before if there's something you've been putting off um monday tuesday's the time to do it because you've got the energy you've got the drive you've got the optimism there's just this really nice fresh burst of energy coming into your life on monday and tuesday that's going to make you feel adventurous excited full of life ready to tackle things ready to get stuck in if you're not feeling like that you will do but do give it a chance get out there if you're a bit bored <laughs> you know life can get a bit of humdrum sometimes doing the same thing day in day out mix it up a bit you know just changing our routine a little bit can give us a new burst of energy you know instead of doing the same thing or going to the same place just try something new go somewhere different ring up a friend say hey let's go and check this out after work or whatever and yeah it's full of excitement full of energy a lot of fire energy there with wands so enjoy it make the most of it whereas the midweek wednesday and thursday we've got the hermit which is saying you're taking some time within yourself to look within yourself to reflect you might just need a little bit of alone time you know we all need that now and then just to kind of check back in with ourselves and find our own truth and our own wisdom especially these days you know we're living in a world of almost um, information overload <laughs> with the online world with social media with televisions with everything there's so much information constantly constantly coming in midweek it's time to actually step back and go hang on what's my truth how do i feel about that what's really happening here for me and if you do that it's really going to pay off for you that doesn't mean you have to spend the whole two days on your own it's not that drastic but make a little bit of time to have a bit of time like that it'll be good for you it'll make you feel better afterwards you'll feel clearer you'll feel like you're caught up with everything that's going on around you and feeling quite comfortable with that so yeah checking in with ourselves is important i love going and sitting by water somewhere and just you know enjoying the peacefulness the calmness the quietness that's around that so yeah do do enjoy that by friday saturday and sunday we've got the queen of wands queen of wands is essentially an influence of strength and individuality so the time midweek spent looking within finding your own truth by the weekend you're crystal clear and you're very solid in who you are what's right for you what you need to do for you and yeah you're not too worried about what everybody else thinks the outside influences have taken a back seat and you're very clear and very empowered within you and what's right for you the queen of wands is one of my favorite cards um i feel very very connected with that because she's an individual and she's not scared to you know not sit like a lady <laughs> she's sitting there quite strongly she has a black cat so she's open to you know different ideas like the tarot like um different sort of crystals maybe things like that open-minded but she's also got a wand in her hand so she's also got energy and drive and the ability to get things done so that's the energy you're going to have over the weekend um if it's not you it might be somebody like that around you who who's like that and you may be spending some time with them over the weekend and it's going to be good for you because she's kind of a straight shooter <laughs> she doesn't mix words and not come to the point and she's very very direct and clear so yeah you're either embodying that or running into somebody like that either way it's going to be awesome so whatever you've decided to do for the weekend nobody's going to be able to talk you out of it <laughs> let's put it that way if other people go oh no you shouldn't do that or well, you know why don't you do this instead i don't think you're going to listen you know what you want you know what you need to do and 
you're going to do it this weekend and you're going to feel great about it. So, yeah, very, very strong influence and it's a direct effect of the midweek of actually spending some time finding your own answers, finding your own truth. We're all influenced by people and energies around us. We're human beings, we're interactive, we're sensitive, we feel things. But sometimes we need to pull back and go, hang on, where am I at? What's my truth? So you've got a wonderful week for that row too. So it looks really, really powerful for you. Enjoy it. It's, it's an amazing, amazing energy. So have a great time with it. Okay, four row threes. We start the week with the ten of wands, which is a bit heavy looking, you know. Like the person might be feeling a bit overloaded, overburdened, like there's too much going on, too much on their plate. Maybe they've taken too much on and more than they want to, you know. So if you're feeling like people are dumping their problems or their jobs or things to do on you that you don't necessarily really want to do, you're going to spend a bit of time looking at that at the beginning of the week because we all need to make decisions like that now and then, you know. If you've been somebody who's always done things for other people, people come to expect that of you. <laughs> and to change that then takes a bit of work, takes a bit of effort to, you know, get people to learn to relate to you in a different way that you're not going to be the one who's always going to pick up the pieces. So, yeah, beginning of the week, you might be just feeling a little bit overloaded, maybe a bit worn down, maybe a bit like, hang on a minute, <laughs> why am I so busy and nobody else is so busy? So at home, it can mean like you're doing all the jobs, you know, yeah, things like that, just feeling a bit weighed down. Maybe you've got a lot of work on, um, a lot going on, so make sure you take care of yourself too, you know. Don't don't run yourself ragged. There's a little bit of a message there. Don't wear yourself down at the beginning of the week because you've got the whole week ahead of you yet and you don't need to be doing that. So by Wednesday and Thursday, we've got the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is saying you're looking at all these different things. Lots of thinking, ideas. Um, and I feel in this context, you're looking at all the things you do in your life. You know, maybe you're a mum and you're doing that and you're working and you're cleaning the house and <laughs> and and your friend is having problems and, and your mother needs you to help her. <laughs> and, and it might be just a bit much. So you need to have a quick look during the midweek and go, hang on, what do I really honestly need to do? And what don't I need to do? And what do I want to do? Because don't put yourself last. What I'm seeing here for row threes is a time to decide not to put yourself last. You can't give from an empty cup. You can't pour from an empty cup. You know, you need to nurture yourself. Look after your own energy. Look after your own well-being. Because without that, you haven't got a lot left to offer anyway. So, yeah. Midweek, you're going over things, you're thinking, you're making decisions, you're going, hmm, you know, is this really what I want to do? Is that necessary? Could they do that for themselves? Do I need to be doing this for other people? Or is my boss actually piling too much work on me and it's getting a bit much? If you're self-employed, it can be hard to learn when to say no and stop. <laughs> I have to do it because I have a business and a website and online stuff and blah de blah and I actually have a time when my phone's off at the end of the day because otherwise I'd be answering messages at all hours of the night and it's not necessary. Generally things can wait a little bit and yeah it's, it's about self-care. So spend some time during the midweek, do some self-care, look at what's really important, look at what you really want to do, what you want to have energy for, what you want to focus on. And by the weekend, by Thursday, Friday, uh, by Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you've got the emperor, which means you're feeling pretty much in control and very strong about what you've looked at, the decisions you've made, and you're ready to sort of sort things out. So by the weekend, you're certainly not feeling overloaded anymore. You're feeling like you're in control again, you're on top of things in your life and you're ready to move forward and do some things that you choose to do. And yeah, it's very much that you're feeling strong and empowered because you have actually been looking at things, 
deciding what's important for you and pulling back from things that maybe aren't, you know, that you don't need to be focused on, that you don't need to be spending your energy doing, and you're ready to focus on what you want to do. And that's going to take you into a powerful direction of achieving some great things. I mean, I think one of the most powerful ways we can help people and influence people in a positive way is to live a truly excellent life. <laughs> if you're doing something awesome with your life, you're loving and full of life, feeling great, other people are going to see that and go, wow, I want that, I want to do that, maybe I can do that, and you've inspired them, you know, so inspiring people is actually a very, very effective way of, of helping people and empowering them, so live your best life, it's honestly, even for your children, children with an empowered mom or dad have a wonderful role, role model, you know, a role model who they aspire to be like when they grow up. So, yeah, you're feeling awesome by the weekend. You're ready to take some time to do some things you enjoy. You're certainly quite strong and capable of saying no. And, yeah, you're feeling on top of, on top of life. You've caught up. You've sorted things out. You're feeling really, really good. So very interesting week for row threes very much a sift and a sort out of everything that's important and we're coming up to Christmas generally people especially people with families there's so much going on and end of year this and end of work that and Christmas shopping and <laughs> you know the whole palaver and it can get too intense so focus on what you want and what you want for your family um I remember when my sons were young and um, I wasn't with their dad anymore and they used to spend Christmas with his family because my family was in Germany. So he could give them the family Christmas with grandma and cousins and I wanted them to have that. But I'd always do a Christmas with them straight after. And we used to do really random weird things because they'd done the big sit down thing with all the food and one year I asked them what they wanted and they wanted fresh crusty bread with muscle pate from the shop down the road and a magnum ice cream because they'd just come out <laughs> you know so simple so easy um and they were happy as larry with that and it was simple it was fun we relaxed we chilled out we used to do things like go on boat rides and things like that or yeah i'd treat them to a neat experience so make it how you want it to be you know, <laughs> what matters to you and your family is what what's important. Being relaxed, enjoying it is really the key to it. So don't let things overburden you, okay? Um, so yeah, it looks like an absolutely fantastic week for all three rows. It looks like you're all coming out of it feeling very strong and very connected and very good about yourselves. So yeah. It looks like a great week. So anyway, if you enjoyed this, please give it a like and a subscribe. Ting the bell if you want to be updated when I upload these videos. Have an amazing week. Lots and lots of love to you all. And see you all next time.